Topsy and Tim ride their bikes. When Topsy and Tim woke up on the first morning of the school holidays, they saw two lumpy, bumpy parcels leaning against the bedroom wall. It didn't take them long to find out what was inside. Mummy! Dad! they yelled. Come and see our new bikes! Those should keep you happy through the long school holidays, said Dad. We can't go away this summer, said Mummy, so you will have lots of time to learn to ride them. As soon as breakfast was over, Topsy and Tim wanted to ride their new bikes. Tim held Topsy's bike steady while she climbed onto the saddle. Her feet hardly reached the pedals. Oh dear, said Tim. Topsy's bike is too big for her. Not to worry, said Mummy. I'll lower the saddle. Clever Mummy got a spanner and lowered Topsy's saddle. Now her feet could safely touch the ground. She did the same for Tim. When your legs get longer, we'll put the saddles up again, she said. Those bikes should last a long time. They took their bikes to the sports field to learn how to ride them. Mummy and Dad went too, to help. There was plenty of space there and no dangerous traffic. In one corner of the sports field were children doing clever stunts on BMX bikes. One of them shouted, Hello, Topsy and Tim! I like your new bikes! It was Josie Miller. I'm going to do stunts on my bike, said Tim. Wheelies and bunny hops and things like those children. And I'm going to win races on mine and jump right up in the air, said Topsy. Stunts are not for the road, said Dad. Anyway, you'll have to learn to ride them first. Easy peasy, said Topsy. But it wasn't. Learning how to balance was quite difficult. Their bikes kept falling over. In the end, Mummy and Dad had to run along beside them, holding tight to their saddles and handlebars. At last, Mummy thought it was time to let go. Wobble, 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 went Topsy. Keep going, puffed Mummy. Topsy kept going, faster and faster. Use your brakes to slow down, shouted Mummy. Topsy didn't slow down. Instead, she tried to steer her bike round. She lost her balance and fell off. Bonk! Luckily, the grass was soft, so she wasn't hurt. Dad ran along with Tim. I'm not holding you now, he said. Wow! yelled Tim. Don't let go! You're doing fine, said Dad. Keep it up! Topsy and Tim kept practicing, and at last they were cycling quite well. They could start by themselves and stop without falling off. Topsy even managed a wobbly wave. Mummy and Dad waved back from the bench where they were sitting. At last, Mummy called, Time for dinner, twins! Beep, beep, went Tim. Tooty, toot, toot, went Topsy. After dinner, Josie cycled over to play with Topsy and Tim. She was wearing a brightly coloured band. What's that for? asked Topsy. It's a safety sash, explained Josie, so that car drivers can see me easily. Should we wear safety sashes? asked Topsy. Not yet, said Josie. You're too young to ride on a road. I had to pass a cycling proficiency test at school before my mummy would let me. Here are some of the things that Josie learned for her cycling proficiency test. Good brakes. Test them before you set out. Cycle near the curb. Look all round for cars. Arm signals for turning left or right. Get off and walk over busy roads. Josie went home after tea. Topsy and Tim were ready for bed. May we take our bikes up with us? asked Tim sleepily. They'll be nice and cosy in the shed, said Mummy. Good night, bikes, said Topsy and Tim. See you in the morning. <laughs>